Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Mr. Prepper. Yay, the game didn't crash last time, so that's that's very good. And the power is back on. Uh, so we've got the power and we're barely using any because we've got two generators running over here. Uh, so we're going to... Well, actually, you know what? We can power this on because we've got we've got plenty of power running now. Uh, let me see what other food I have stored here. This is all non-perishables, sort of. I'm assuming these things will slowly perish. Uh, but I can dry more stuff. I don't have any food here, so that's all right. There we go. So how much electricity does that? No, not. Wow. I got plenty of space. I mean, plenty of, uh... Oh, you're heavy. Oh, come on, what what's so heavy then? Okay, fine, eat the mushrooms, because we're going to eat these anyway. Oh yeah, I've got loads of this stuff. Let's put this stuff to melt. And yeah, I still had the wood on me. So yeah, these generators actually don't consume much wood. And uh, yeah, that's quite nice. I'm happy with that. Let's take that and put that in, I suppose. And dry it. I don't think you can dry the mushrooms, right? Uh, that in there. And then go and sell stuff. Lots of stuff. So we have to find Chupacabra as well. Bob's dog. Where is it? Let's see. Mr. Prepper, thank you very much for the Geiger counter. Now I feel much more prepared. Remember my first gift for you? Have you already started constructing your vehicle? I'm sure you'll handle most of it easily, but keep in mind that such technology requires impeccable quality of elements. Hard to achieve in our do-it-yourself conditions. But fear not, I happen to know about a device which will help you greatly, an AI-based, highly adaptable rocket control module. Together with a top-notch accelerometer, I know you can find the control module in Fort Observer, an abandoned military base not far from Murricaville. They used to work on sending things to space there, among other research. I cannot point you to a specific location, unfortunately, but I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Prepper. I was kind of hoping he would send me the, uh, the horizon. Uh, the artificial horizon. I wanted to say the event horizon. Oh, minute, man. Okay. Uh, more phones. That's good. Don't really want anything here. I s no. Nothing there for now. I just want to sell things. Whoa, 20 per. Holy moly, that's pretty good. Well. Okay, nice. No, uh... Oh yeah, the gardening too. Um, no fuel available, unfortunately. But look at all that money. Look at all that stuff. Okay, now before we go and do anything, let's let's clean up our inventory a little bit. We're gonna put this fuel in for now, uh, and we're gonna get rid of some of this stuff because it's just disgusting how much we have on us. Yeah. Get all those nice electronics out of there. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, and that's about it, I think. We can put that back there. Even though this stuff doesn't really weigh anything, so I suppose I could always have it on me, for example, the wood. Uh, so I can replenish these. And this one. Alright, we can go check up on our traps. We can go... Do what else? Do I have... Oh, yeah. Let's power this on. And, of course, I need water. Uh, let's see what other stuff I could plant. Oh, more sunflower seeds. And let's try an orange seed as well. Give me some water. Give me some water. Water. I need some water. Water. Okay, quick plant, and do that, and of course power it on, and let's make sure that we plant the orange seeds here. Oh, we already did, okay. We'll power on. That's nice, okay. So our electricity usage is good. It's not over the limit. Um, right, let's put the seeds back. There we go. Planter, planter. 
Uh, let's get rid of all this stuff that we don't really need for now. There. I also have to take this apart. And apparently these as well, because for some reason we cannot put them... Uh, we, we cannot put them... Oh, now we can. Okay. No idea what's going on. More of these... And I suppose I can... No, I'm not going to disassemble them. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Got to disassemble this as well. Bowl. Glass. Alright, good. So let's get rid of this stuff. So... Can I stack one more? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. Can I stack one more here and then go past? No. Ah, but I can do it here. However, that's going to be a real, real bitch to try and uh, get past. So um, I think I might just get rid of these planters. I'm not sure. I mean, it's not like I need that much space right now. That would be nice if I could, I could put it on top of the fridge. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. It would be nice if I could put it uh, vertically. Can I put it back here and still? Yes, I can. That's really cool. Okay. I've got all this stuff. Let's put a water back. And uh, that's about it. Let's go take a short nap. This stuff is ready. Uh, I don't think it really matters if this is powered on or off. I don't think the uh, generators use less power. I mean, it might be wrong, of course, but... Yeah. No, I didn't want to do that. Let's go... See if we can sell something before we nap. That's a lot of stuff. There we go. Oh, there's the uh, neighbor again. That stuff really sells for a lot. That's nice. And unfortunately, Joe doesn't have any fuel available, so... Oh, well. Karen... Hello, dear neighbor. How are you? Hello. Uh, the weather is fantastic today. I'm sure it's th thanks to our government. Um, sure. Bless the president. Okay. Okay. <laughs> huh. Let's go check up on our traps. And of course, try to go deeper into the forest. Level 5. It's a shame you can't just go straight into the furthest part of the forest that you were before, but oh well. Nice, that's gonna be a lot of money. Look at all that stuff going into our inventory. Look at all that stuff! Nice. Alright. And further into the forest, which is that way. Probably should have put the traps on this side, but that's okay. We have the knife equipped. I should have uh, napped. I forgot. <laughs> As per usual. Hello, doggy. Sorry, doggy. Go straight into the woods. Five, two, five, three. Hello, doggy. Hello, another doggy. Yeah, let's just keep going. Can we just escape it? No. Ow. No. I do have to eat some food now. Hello, doggy. There. Um, yeah, further into the woods. 5-4. Now it's going to be 5-5. Five, five. I can count! Double click an action on an item to run it and blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, yeah, that way. I don't want to kill you, doggies, just... I know they're wolves, but come on. Doggies, wolves. Alright, so there's the house, and we want to go further into the forest. Five, six, this is already... I didn't bring another knife, did I? Just punch it. Ow, that's not good. The good thing about these weapons is that you can, uh, you attack several at once. I don't think I brought another knife. No, I didn't. But I do have another axe with me, just in case. 
But the knives really are very, very good. They just do, uh, they just go down very quickly, unfortunately. So this is empty apart from that little crate. So I'm going to take that anyway. Because I'm a hoarder. All right, let's take that. There we go. <laughs> take everything from these shacks. Whoever was trying to survive here ain't going to survive no more. I can't go because I'm getting attacked. And then rats are going to come, right? Right. No, good. Well, they're coming, but I'm already running away. All right, so what do we have? There, here. Okay, that's not, that looks more promising. Yeah, that just gives you straight up wood, not logs like before uh, in the forest. So that's good. More stuff. Jeez, how far does this forest go? And I can hear that little generator again. Or, uh... Or lawnmower, whatever you want to call it. It's a lot of stuff trying to kill me. And it's not trying to kill each other. Another house, yeah. It's a bit of a shame that all of these looks the same. What if I take it from the bottom? There we go. Well, nice physics. <laughs> Loads more stuff. There's a book up there. What is this? Just a normal book. It's not a skill book. That's ah, so much stuff. Holy moly. We're going to be over encumbered again very soon. Mom. Eat some food. And let's go into the dangerous part of the forest. Alright. This is gonna have a boss fight again, so to speak. Please don't crash, game. I know he's very tired and my preparedness is going down at an alarming rate. So we gotta hurry. It's a black wolf. Oh, that takes a long time to kill him. That's fine, even if he hits me. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it was just... I can just eat more food, so it's not a problem. I'm just gonna take it. I could use a short nap while he's killing loads of wolves. <laughs> Ow. Ow. But why does it keep changing? That's really annoying. It keeps changing to the uh, other menu. Very annoying. What? Oh. I can just click on a plane. Whoa! That's a lot of stuff here. Can I just take the... What's that? Oh. Huh? Jenny. Hey, Buttercup. You look like you've seen a ghost. Let me guess. Is that you in this photo? Um, yes. Apparently. How did you know? Oh, ladies' intuition. You look like someone's trying to escape. I just connected the dots. Was that my previous attempt? I don't... I don't remember any of this. Honey, you're not alone. Some people in the town don't remember entire decades. Some have trouble recognizing their friends. And you at least have a plane crash to blame. It's a military aircraft. Does it mean that I was um, on their side? One of them? I don't know much about military things. What I know is that right now you don't seem much of a government type. Besides, I'm pretty sure it's them who shot you down. So, you were once one of them or not. Does it really matter now? What matters is that you're a capable young lad. And I'm sure you're coming up with a way of escaping with something bigger and faster as we speak. Hmm. All right, darling, I'll leave you to it. You know where to find me if you want to talk about plans, memories, and other things. Okay. That was a lot of stuff in that plane, but I gotta run back before I check it because our preparedness is going down very fast. So I got another le uh, lever, uh, access card, ooh, to Fort Observer, excellent. Oh, Artificial Horizon, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Very, very nice. Actually, let's see if I can sell something just before we go. Oh, carpet. Textile, I have a feeling I might need textile later on, I don't know. Buy some more of this. Don't need any of it here. 
What's that? Spices. Okay. No fuel, unfortunately. Oh, my preparedness went all the way back up. Okay. She Mama poster. A touch of fantasy world in your home. Oh, it's like He-Man. <laughs> okay, funny. Right, let's go to sleep. Uh, I need to rest. <laughs> Alright, I need to take some more knives. But wow, we got a lot of stuff in that plane. That was very much worth it. I don't know how much I need for the next ropeway. Probably a ridiculous amount. But we'll see. Prepare yourself for the worst. Alright. So, finish phase two. 60 metal, 20 plastic. I think we have all of that. Uh, so we're gonna take these with us. We're gonna put the bullets back here. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. Access card, uh, fuel book. Depicts a pilot in an airplane. Wait, is that Mr. Prepper? Uh, that and all of the other stuff I'm gonna take apart. Uh, right. So, first of all, I need water. Beep, beep, beep. Too heavy. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Should've known. Morning! We have a new series of stamps. Exciting, isn't it? You guessed it, our beloved president. is left broke all this time. Alright. Fine, fine, fine. I need to, uh, I need to get rid of some of this stuff, because it's just way too much. Um... Just gotta take this stuff apart. Okay, take all that stuff apart. The uh, generators are still working. That's actually really good. I was afraid that they would take way too much wood to, uh, to power before, but this is actually really, really nice. This is quite nice. Okay. Put the fuel back here, even though we should go and check up on our uh, mine. But first of all, I want to water the plants and everything. And in fact, I think I'm going to take all of this stuff out and power off the fridge. Because I don't really need that there. That's just going to be there for show, even though it's not going to work at all. Uh, I'm going to dry that. Need to water the plants. And I'll need more water. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, having uh, two planters side by side is a little bit annoying, I have to say. Um, but, oh well. Is this one ready yet? I don't think it is. That one might be. No. I need one more water. Okay. Right, and let's also put the food in here. Where our food is. Oh, that's rat meat. Uh, we're gonna take that. And we're gonna try to sell the sunflower seeds as well. If we can. Also, we'll be able to take the guarana seeds. Is this... Oh, this is not planted. Okay. Let's take the, take the seeds then. Oh, that and... Yeah. So we've already done that, we can get rid of that book. There. And I got nine pelts here. Quick plant. And quick plant. And of course I need more water. I don't think I have anything. I do. Okay, so three more water. I can put more stuff over there. Actually. There we go. Gonna be quite nice. There we go. Nice. Yeah, with that, uh, with those generators, this is actually quite nice. Okay. Uh, so now we said, uh, what did I say? I wanted to. Do, I'm gonna just refill these generators. Actually, no. Um. I wanted to... Oh, yeah. The plan. Oops. So, we need a 60 metal, 20 plastic. I don't have 20 plastic. That's a problem. So, we need to buy more plasticky stuff. Okay. Oh. He's there. 
I kind of worry that she'll report us, considering that we're running around with a helmet and hatchet and everything. Good day, Mr. Prepper. Bless the president. Hello. Life is great in Merrickville, but I'm reading in our truth that the foreign powers want to destroy our way of life. This worries me a lot. Have a good day, neighbor. Until next time. Okay. Odd. Uh, what is that actually? Dynamite causes a powerful explosion that deals a lot of damage. You can also disassemble it to get the recipe. What the heck? Okay. Can I? No. I can sell the pelts, but I can also buy plastic from Ser uh, Jet Sergey. There we go. We want. Oh, he doesn't have any plastic available right now. Well, he has these, which do have plastic in them. Not much, but they do. Hmm. Alright. Buy that then. Even more salt. Oh, flour. And nuclear fusion cuisine. Ideas to spice up. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna buy it. Why not? We're loaded anyway. There's the fuel. That's what I need. Oh. Just leveled up so I can buy more fuel. Trust level 2. Oh, cow skull. Horrific decorative piece. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I should just be hoarding more bullets or not. Nice. Look at all this stuff. Lovely. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's take a short little nap. And, uh, yeah, we need 20 plastic. That's what we need to do. <clears throat> so maybe the next day we can actually build the next phase of uh, our rocket. Oh, he's waiting over there to talk to us and we're just sleeping. Poor guy. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I can read that. There we go. No palace, snake stew, meat stew, pasta, orange jam, cactus jam, canned tomato soup. Wow. Energy bar. Oh, it can make energy bars now. Pie, omelet. There's a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff is perishable though, so that doesn't really help me. Water's not available yet. Let's go take this stuff apart. Let's take apart the artificial horizon. If you've never seen, by the way, the inside of how an artificial horizon works, uh, go and look it up on YouTube. It's very interesting, the gyroscope in there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I should go and check up on our... Uh, on our mine. And I think we're gonna go and do that. Why am I still so heavy? Probably. Is it just a fuel? I guess it's just a fuel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and do I not have a pickaxe with me? I don't. Try that. Yeah, these are about done. I do need to uh, refuel them. Fuel that, and refuel that. Yeah, it only takes one wood. That's really, really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go check up on the mine. I don't have a pickaxe with me. So I'll have to uh, make one later. Make one later. Right now, let's just go and check up on the mine and see what we've gotten. From there. Let's go to level minus three first. I'm actually surprised. This uh, this game has quite a lot of stuff. A lot of levels, a lot of things to do. A lot of grinding, but I, I do like grinding in certain games, and this is one of them. I really like grinding in World of Warcraft, for example, as well. I mean... You know, call me weird, but... Oh, you cannot overfill it. Ah, okay. Well, that's cool. You cannot overfill the thing. We need to get lower into the mine, I mean deeper into the mine, because apparently you can then get uh, oil from there. Oh wow, that you can uh, that you can refine in your refinery at home. So that's pretty cool. 
Oh man, that's unfortunate. How much can I take? Yeah, that's that's it. Is that it? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Alright, let's get oh, back to the entrance. Alright. Actually, you know what I should do? I should bring a barrel and just fill it with uh, fuel next to the machine just to have it there on hand, but eh. Alright. Visit Jenny at her cabin. Yes, I will. That's a lot of doggies, but we need uh, the 20 guarana. Let me just make sure that there's nothing else we can sell right now or anything that we want to buy. No plastic, unfortunately, from Sergei. Okay, that's good. No more fuel available. Can sell the gold chunks. We're just swimming in money now. Um, right, so we need that Gorana. These are ready, and that should be enough now. Did it give me some seeds? No, it did. Excellent. Okay, so uh, now let's take the rest of them. I think they're actually in the fridge. There we go. Too heavy. Of course it's too heavy. Oh yeah. Let's put more into here. There we go. Melt that. Let's take the 20 more on. Well, it's way more than that, but that's okay. Okay, that stuff is gonna go bad soon, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Maybe I should spend a day do, uh, making some pate. Why not? I should uh, also take apart one of those, one of the dy dynamites, so I can uh, get the recipe. I suppose what I could have done is just go to the forest and collect the guarana. <laughs> or Jenny. I'm coming in with a ha with a hatchet. Hey, Buttercup, do you have what I needed? I sure do. Thank you very much for the fruits. By the way, you're blooming. Really? Well, at least in comparison to the rest of the townsfolk. Do you also get the feeling they're somehow wilted? I'm not much of a people's person, but yes, they do look rather dull. Unlike you or Bob. By the way, do you know what a guide, uh, the guy to take care of the mine is also named Bob? Uh, taking care. Yes, and you find it funny because... Never mind. Anyway, I wanted to ask you for another favor. It's not plant-related this time. I'm shocked. So do you know about the plane crash in the forest a few months ago? <laughs> um, no. I must have been away, I guess. You don't know much about the life of the town, do you? Anyway, a plane fell down one day. Lots of noise and smoke. And not a word about it in our local newspaper the days afterwards. It happened deep, deep in the forest. The crash site is located off by some ravines and fallen tree trunks. But I'd like you to get there. I have a feeling the pilot was somehow someone I know, and I'd like to check. Could you find a way to get to the wreckage? I'm sure you'll find some useful items and materials on the side. Sounds interesting. I'll try. Hello, Jenny and Bob. Oh, hello, Buttercup. What brings you here? I was thinking, do you have your special mixture with Guarana ready? Could I get a portion? I'm planning to go for a long trip, and I'd prefer not to fall asleep in the middle. Ah, the mixture turned out quite well. Some of my friends already managed to pull an all-nighter thanks to it. But here's the thing. The mixture takes up a lot of raw material resources, and we're already out after a few uh, these few tests. So I'd need you to bring more fruits. We need enough for our needs and to make an extra portion for you. I'm starting to suspect you have quite a bunch of those friends, but fine, I'll grow more fruits for you. Okay, 99 Guarana now. And now we have to, let's see, go back to the plane, I guess. Uh, no, no, it doesn't say that. Okay, ask Joe about the location of Ford Observer. Okay, who observes the observer? I'm just gonna check what we need to uh, repair the ropeway as well. Because that's the last one. And we can also check the traps, I suppose, even though we're pretty heavy on the inventory. So... Repair. 
30 electronics, 30 metal. Ugh. Oh, the leave room oh, must be somewhere in the forest. What? Why are these all so already done? They shouldn't be. They should have one more use in them. Weird. That's a lot of stuff we're getting. Hmm. You should go to sleep. Yep, I am going to sleep. Alright. 30, 30 electronics. Oof. Well, that's okay. Alright. Here we go. More money. Can we sell anything? Some tusks. Nothing there. Nope. No fuel at the moment. Nothing there. Alright. That's okay. Alright. Let's go to sleep. Well, thank you very much for watching. As per usual, I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the Let's Play. Give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.